Hello everybody, I'm Joshua Fields Milburn from TheMinimalists.com. Today we're going to talk about how to start a successful blog. You know, for me it was, it was 10 years ago, it was a decade ago, that Ryan and I first started TheMinimalists.com and we've learned a whole lot over the last decade. Not only have we gained millions of readers, but I can tell you it was, it was honestly one of the best decisions that I've ever made. You know, since then we've produced a couple films, we've published four books, we've gone out on 10 different tours, we started a podcast and so much more, but it all started because we started a blog. And in fact, over the last decade, we've helped over 20,000 people start their own blog over at theminimalists.com slash blog. And so today, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through that blog post on our blog step by step so you yourself can start a blog. Throughout this video, you're gonna see me bounce back and forth between the computer here and the camera. And if you wanna follow along, you can also do that over at theminimalists.com slash blog. Now let's dive into our five steps. All right, so step one, we need to pick our hosting company. The hosting company I've been using for many years is a company called Bluehost. And in fact, I'll walk you through the sign-up process. They make everything really easy and they also have really great customer support on the back end. And during this first step, this is actually also when we're going to pick the name of our blog. So for example, my blog is theminimalists.com and you'll be able to pick your URL as well. So let's go ahead and go through those steps here. I'm just gonna click here on Bluehost. It's gonna take us over there. And you just click the green button here that says, get started now. All right, we've got a few options here. Your basic plan is as low as 275 a month. That tends to work for most people, especially when you're first getting started. Now keep in mind, you can change any of these in the future if you do need to upgrade or downgrade. We're gonna go ahead and select the basic. All right, now it's time for you to pick the name for your blog. Maybe you already know what name you want to use. Maybe it's just yourname.com, maybe you have a business or you've figured out a creative title for your blog. Whatever it is, the nice thing here is you get a free domain right here through Bluehost. All right, and because you're creative, you've figured out a very creative blog name. It's creativeblogname.com. Now, if you already own a .com, maybe you registered it from somewhere else, that previous screen there, you could have entered that as well. But since we're setting up a brand new one, you're going to get that for free. And look, your name is available. Creativeblogname.com is totally available. So now I just need to enter my own personal information here. So there are several extras you can choose from here. I'm going to unselect those. You don't necessarily need them. Of course, you can add them if you want. Get out my credit card here, enter my credit card information. All right, simply agree to the terms of service and submit. All right, that was easy. It says your purchase was a success. It went ahead and sent me a confirmation email. And now we go in to create the account. All right, now we're gonna log into the account. All right, so basically, you could be done right now. I mean, you sort of created a blog, but there's a few things that I recommend before you get started creating. So let's hop back on over to theminimalists.com slash blog and walk you through steps two through five. All right, so step two is install WordPress, which sounds really overwhelming, right? I don't know how to install something. Well, guess what? We already took care of it. Bluehost already did the work for us. So we can go ahead and skip step two altogether because we have WordPress. In fact, WordPress is what the majority of serious bloggers I know who use a blog, they use WordPress. Of course, there are other free templates out there, but WordPress itself is actually free. Hosting it on Bluehost is relatively inexpensive. And so we've already taken care of step two. Let's go ahead and click on over to step three. All right, so step three is picking your theme. 
you have a host, you have your name, and you have WordPress, right? But you want your blog to be your own, and your theme allows you to design your blog exactly the way you want it to look. And so what we're going to do, and I'll, I'll do this on the computer here, we go on over to Built, and we download the theme that we want for our blog. All right, from the main page, you just click Get Started. And we have several themes to choose from here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the true theme, which is the theme that we use over at theminimalists.com, but you have several others to choose from to make your blog look unique. So now I just need to enter my own personal information here. All right, that was really easy. And you have purchased your theme, so you have a design for your website now, and you own that theme. Of course, we still need to install the theme, that sounds really difficult, but I assure you it's not. All we're going to do is click on dashboard from the purchase page here. That will take you to built.co slash dashboard. And from here, we will download your theme. All right, now that we've downloaded your theme, we're just going to head on over to Bluehost. There's a few steps that we can skip here because, well, we've downloaded our own theme. So skip this step. Skip this step. Skip this step. All right, we've skipped those steps. We're going to go ahead and uh, get into WordPress here. Click Get Started. We're going to skip the dollar and 24 cents a month here. So turn off domain privacy and protection. We're going to go ahead and skip this step. And then we go to My Sites. And you'll see your site pop up here. If you don't see it, you'll notice some text at the top. We'll let you know they're still creating your site. It might take a couple minutes for that to happen. But once it does, it's right here. So go ahead and click Login to WordPress. All right, so this is WordPress. And this is your dashboard. And this is where you install your theme. Again, that sounds really complicated, but it's literally just a few clicks. We're just going to go over here to Appearance, and then Themes, and then you click Upload here at the top. Since you've already downloaded your theme, you'll be able to upload that theme that you just downloaded from Built. Just select your file. Inside your download folder, you will find the theme that you downloaded. Just click Open, and click Install Now. All right, now your theme has been successfully installed and you just want to click Activate. All right, on this screen, you will notice that there is a little red box that pops up that says your theme has not been activated. Don't worry about that. There is a link right below it that says welcome to your theme. Click here to complete the setup. We're not going to go through that right now, but it's really easy for you to do. You just click there to configure your theme. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step and that is selecting the plugins for your blog. All right, so let's head back to theminimalists.com slash blog and take a look at the plugins that we want. Now, we already installed the Monster Insights for Google Analytics, so you don't even need to install that plugin, but there's still one plugin that we want. So if we go back to your dashboard here within WordPress, you click Plugins and Add New, and we're just gonna search for SEO. The first thing you see pop up is Yoast SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. That means when people search for your blog on Google or some other search engine, they will be able to find it very easily. So we're gonna click Install Now. And then we're gonna click Activate. All right, so we have installed your plugins. Now there are a few options you can go through with each plugin. I won't walk you through each of those, but you can configure them for your website and your own taste. And let's head on over to theminimalists.com slash blog, and I will walk you through the fifth step. So here we are, step five, write compelling content for your blog that readers will love. We hear this term content all the time. I'm not interested in content. What I'm really interested in is producing meaningful creations, writing 
to add value to other people's lives. So you've identified that you wanted to start a blog. You have everything you need now. You have your plugins, you have WordPress, you have your theme, you have your host, you have your domain name, your URL. But now comes the fun part you're going to begin writing for your future audience. Before we do that though, there are a few important things that I think you need to consider for your blog. First off, you want a photo of yourself on your blog. Why is that? Well, because people connect with other people. They don't connect with brands. You're not a brand, you are you, and so have a photo of yourself on your blog. Second, it's important to have some sort of logo so someone can identify your blog for what it is. And so uh, you may not be able to create your own logo. You may not have the design chops to do that. But don't worry, there are a few resources here on theminimalists.com slash blog where you can get your own logo designed relatively inexpensively. Also, images on your blog. You'll notice that a lot of blogs and a lot of news sites, they use different images. And most of those images you can actually find online for free now. I have several resources in the blog post here at theminimalists.com slash blog where you can find free or cheap stock photos for your blog. Also, comments. Do you want comments on your blog? That's really up to you. I don't have comments on my blog anymore, but they really helped shape my blog the first two or three years that I was blogging. It allowed me to get feedback from people. It allowed me to understand what was resonating with people, and it allowed me to shift what I was creating to better serve and better solve problems for the people who were reading my blog. Oh, social media. Social media is something that's important to talk about, although, Social media should not be the focus of our blog. It should simply augment what we're doing with our blog. So yes, you probably want a Twitter account or a Facebook account or even an Instagram account, but they're not absolutely necessary. They, they simply enhance what you're doing on the blog. The nice thing about your blog is you own your blog. Any of these other platforms, whether it's Instagram or, or Facebook or, or Twitter, they could be gone tomorrow and everything that you've created for those platforms will go along with it. But on your blog, you own it and it is just for you. So yeah, sure, use social media to promote your blog, but don't make it the main focus of what you're doing. And then ultimately, the last step is to publish. It is time for you to write your first blog post. Now I've got some more tips for you. If you need some writing tips, you can download my free ebook. It's called 11 Ways to Write Better. And you can do that over at howtowritebetter.org. And that's it. You're ready to start publishing words to the world. All right, before we end this video today, you can finish this blog post at the very end of how to start a successful blog. There are 20 blogging tips to improve your writing. You can find that here on the screen. And you'll notice at the very bottom of this blog post, we also have 15 reasons you should start a blog, three reasons you should not start a blog, four additional blogging resources, and at the very end of the post, you can tweet us and let us know what you think about this blog post, about this video, and you can also ask additional questions. So click the button here to ask your question, and that is it for this video. You have five steps for how to start a blog today. I hope you get started. I'm wishing you way more than luck. All right, y'all. Love people. Use things. Sometimes we just pretend I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>